Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys four quick and easy dinners that you can make on any weeknight that don't take a lot of planning or preparation. And also each of these recipes is going to be super easy to customize. So if there's an, a certain ingredient that you don't care for, you can definitely substitute it with something that you do like. So let's go ahead and get started. This first meal is going to be black bean and corn tacos or burritos or burrito bowls, whatever you want to do with it. So to get started, all I did was added a one pound bag of frozen corn as well as two cans of black beans that I rinsed and drained to a skillet on medium high heat. And then I also added about a half cup of water and now I'm just gonna go ahead and start seasoning up the mixture. And I just added cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And then once you get it seasoned the way you like it and you think it tastes good, you basically just cook it until everything is heated through. And once that was done, I went ahead and chopped up some tomato and cilantro so that I can make some pico de gallo. And you could also add onion to this if you wanted to. So um, I added that to a bowl. And then I just added some lime juice. And you can also season this if you want to. Just put some salt and pepper. If you wanted to spice it up even more, you could add some jalapeno. But again, this is very highly customizable. You can make it however you like. So while all these other things were happening, the rice was cooking in the microwave, so I just pulled that out and then to make it cilantro lime rice, all I did was added the remainder of the cilantro to the rice as well as some lime juice. And that's really all there is to this meal. At this point, you're pretty much done, so all you have to do is assemble and enjoy. The next meal is going to be loaded baked potato soup and this is going to start with some onion sauteing and butter and if you don't like onion you can definitely leave that out and then you're just going to make a roux with the butter and that just means you're adding some flour to the butter mixture to create a thick batter like consistency and then once you cook the rawness out of the flour you just add some milk to thin it out and create a sauce. So as it sits there simmering, it's gonna start to thicken up again. And once it coats the spoon, that's when you know it's ready. So go ahead and add your potatoes. And you can either cook them ahead of time, you can put them in the microwave, you can boil them, you can do whatever you want to cook them. But um, I actually did not cook mine at all. I just peeled them, chopped them up, and then added them to my pot. And I'm gonna let them cook with the soup over the next like 30 minutes. So all you wanna do is go ahead and season up your soup. And um, just to finish it off, I'm gonna add some cream. You can add light cream or heavy cream, but all this does is just make it extra rich. And it's also thin thinning it out a little bit because it got a little thick and the potatoes are also gonna thicken it. So you don't want it to be too thick in the beginning before you actually cook the potatoes. So yeah, I just added some um, light cream and then I'm adding salt and pepper and you wanna taste it after you add your seasoning just to make sure that it tastes good and then you wanna pop the top on and let it simmer. So now that the potatoes are done cooking, I went, I went ahead and tasted it again and we know that potatoes take a lot of seasoning so they kinda of suck the seasoning out of the soup. So I went ahead and added some garlic powder as well as some vegetable broth just to thin it out a little bit more and to add a little more flavor. And I'm also gonna add in some cheddar cheese to, just to make it extra cheesy. You can leave this out or you can decide to incorporate it. It's up to you. And here's a cooking hack for recipes that call for bacon. Just use the real bacon bits, pop them in the microwave um, for a couple seconds and they will start to get crispy again. And then you can use them in whatever recipe that calls for bacon if you don't feel like actually cooking bacon. Um, so yeah, definitely take advantage of those little hacks they have in the store.
next meal is going to be a loaded baked potato with a side salad and I feel like we all know how to make a baked potato especially when you're going to do it in the microwave so all I did was pierce the potato with a fork and then popped it in the microwave um, for about maybe four or five minutes per side since these were pretty big potatoes um, and that was that. I forgot to get some other veggies for the salad so I'm just going to go ahead and use lettuce um, because that's all I have on hand. Um, normally I would put like tomato, cucumber, well tomato for myself, I'm the only one that likes tomato. Um, but cucumber, really that's all they would, they, my family would eat is, is lettuce and cucumber. I like tomato, onion all, and peppers and all that stuff in my salad but they only like lettuce and cucumber so um, I forgot the cucumber basically. So yeah, I'm just chopping up the lettuce and I'm going to give it a good rinse and then I'm going to start assembling the plates. The next meal is going to be like a pasta bake so I'm just going to take some ground beef and um, slap it into a pot and begin to saute it and I'm also going to add in some onion and green pepper just to give it a little extra flavor. Once the meat was done cooking, I went ahead and drained off all the extra fat that came out of it and now I'm going to start to add in the sauce and assemble the pasta bake. definitely optional but I like to always add in about a tablespoon or two of sugar when I'm making tomato based um, sauces and stuff because it cuts down on the acidity in the sauce um, but again that is optional you don't have to do that and while I'm at it I also like to add in a couple dashes of hot sauce and that is all I pretty much all I do to my uh, pasta sauce if I'm making like a spaghetti kind of sauce and um, then I'm just gonna pop the top on and let it come to a simmer pasta is boiling and the sauce is ready so now I'm going to start on my sauteed zucchini and all I'm going to do for that is just add some olive oil to a pan and then add in my chopped up zucchini and just give it a saute with some seasonings. For me, it only takes about five minutes to cook these because I don't like mine super overdone and mushy. Um, I want them to have a little bit of chew still, so that's about it. So once it was mixed up, all I did was added it to a pan and topped it with mozzarella cheese and parsley. And then I baked it just until the cheese was melted. And that took maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is what it looked like in the end. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. And also just so you can be a part of the family. So yes, um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.